the narrow issue of Honorable uh, Zondo is that the, mat, the, 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 the bill was not gazetted according to him, reading the rules, contrary to our house rules, with demands for regazetting. So I think the simple question, and maybe because of the, the importance of this matter, ordinarily matters of privilege are not meant to be debated, but I think we'll suspend our rules just to have one or two contributions. And it's important that Honorable Sada, who, 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 who basically sponsored the bill, should have um, the information the, first. I want to give we'll, we'll get on the Wusada and we'll get the chairman rules and business. On the Wusada. Mr. Speaker, in the first place, I did not sponsor the bill. The bill is an executive bill, and this bill, historically, you are the first person to move debates on this bill when you are the majority leader, historically. All the histories are there in the, the journals. These bills followed the normal procedure of the House as enshrined. As excuse me, please. As, in as enshrined, as enshrined in the, as enshrined, as enshrined in the order of this book, in order of this. And this bill, Mr. Speaker, my brother Abonta, he was sitting for nearly one hour when this bill was passed, was considered on this floor. You were here on the 23rd. He was here. So, Mr. Speaker, when, when a member is saying that this House has no right to entertain them because there is constitutional provision, that is not true. You must, we must not misinform members about the provision of this bill. That bill is a consideration, consideration of four acts. One act is 1986, that's the Water Resources Act. The other one is River Basin Development Authorities of 1985. The other one is uh, uh, Nigeria Hydrological Agency Act of 2010, and there is, um, there is Nigerian Institute of uh, Water Resources, Mando Kaduna of 1986. These bills were consolidated. Can you imagine one of, the, one, of the, one of the provisions in the bill is still talking about Bendel State? It's still talking about Bendel State. Then, then if you look at the catchment zone areas of... Yeah, Honorable Sada. And if regazetting is required uh, by our rules. It's a very honorable, simple... Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, to members, and I could believe I can remember clean copies was debuted on, on this floor. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleagues, it's okay, honorable colleagues, please, let's allow... This let's... They should allow me to speak. The honest, the Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is okay. Mr. Speaker, since it's a matter of privilege, order order nine on rules of debate, order nine six, it reads. It shall be out of order to attempt to consider. Any to consider to consider any specific question upon which the House has come to a conclusion during the current session, except upon a substantive motion. This issue can come on substantive motion, and the House can look at it because it does not affect me; it affects the whole country. We can follow the procedure. He is talking about privilege. So it can come on a substantive motion. Okay, all right. Very good point. Very good point. Yes. Um, very good point. And then I think that house, addresses. This issue can be subjected to the house, and the house can take a decision on this legislation. I'm not. I'm not against anybody raising any issue on this bill because it affects everybody. Mm. But let's put it on a substantive motion. Let it be on notice, and then we we'll discuss it. Okay. Please, let's listen to the chairman business and rules. Silence, please. please. The issue raised by Honorable Nzamdu in the is on the matter of procedure. The bill under question was passed at third reading by the eighth assembly 
on the 19th of December 2017. And this is the vote and proceedings of that very sitting. The Speaker, when the Executive reintroduced the bill in the 8th and the 9th Assembly, we subjected the bill to our rules. That is Order 12, Rule 16, which states as follows, and I quote, Bills passed by the preceding Assembly and forwarded to the Senate for concurrence, for which no concurrence was made, was made or negatived, or passed by the Senate and forwarded to the House for which no concurrence was made or negative, or which were passed by the National Assembly and forwarded to the President for assent, but for which assent or withholding thereof was not communicated before the end of the tenure of the Assembly. The House may resolve that such bills have been regazetted or clean copies circulated, or clean copies circulated, be reconsidered in the committee of the whole without being commenced de novo. So, by this rule, the issue of commencing a bill de novo is out of place. It is within this context. I want to invoke, Mr. Speaker, permit me to invoke our rules. Kuye, go back to your seat. Section 717. I invite the spirit of this session to ask you. Is working. Hello. I remain Uzaman Kamabonta again. I invoke. Bravo, colleagues, please. Please. Permit me to invoke section uh, uh, rules, other seven, rule seven one of our rules. Invoking the internment and spirit of it, I call upon you that the spirit of this session beseech you to do the needful by interpreting the rules, which is not a few. Two, before I take my seat, this paper, this is the paper that we are used to do that motion. It was labeled section 18. Now he recapitulated that he relied on 16. So it was a bunch of deceit if we came by 18 and see. Therefore, subject this to your ruling and give us your ruling as compelled here. Thank you. Hello, colleagues, we have a matter of privilege on the floor. Matters of privilege are not meant to be debated, but because of the sensitivity of the matter, we open it up for debate. Matters of privilege are not meant to be debated, but because of um, the sensitivity of the matter, we open it up for debate. Hello, colleagues, I have just read out the prayers that we pray every day. And I want you to recall that I had a bill on the floor of this house, the infectious disease bill, which at the end of the day generated a lot of controversy. We were informed that uh, we passed it with the speed of light, which was neither here nor there, and that the procedure was wrong, and that it was not sent for public hearing. And being sensitive to the people, I stepped my bill down and I sent it to public hearing. Fundamental issues have been raised by Honorable Mzondo about his privilege and that of many others being breached. He has backed it up by clear language and provisions of our rules, which says any such bill must be regulated. The Chairman of Business and Rules sought to rely on Rule 16, which gives a window of either regazette or clean copies. Unfortunately, it appears some people have done their homework. I was presented with a, with a, with the motion itself for the day, which did not talk about Rule 16, but talked about Rule 18 which does not give the alternative of 
clean copies, which strictly says it must be regazetted. We don't want to do things here that the courts will annul based on even procedure. So there may still be good in this bill, but I think it's good to err on the side of caution. And I think the bill should be sent back for regazetting and brought back to the floor so that we'll consider it and nobody will have any issue at that point. The right thing would have been done. So the ruling will be that, uh, please very quickly, very quickly, uh, Chairman Business and Rule, please send the, the bill for regazetting and bring it back to the floor.